What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. It was a view straight out of some tropical paradise postcard. A line of coconut trees bordering the sand at Ipau Beach. The coconut trees here in Ipau Beach, we had to cut them down because of the rhino beetle situation. And it became uh, quite dangerous because some of them was about to fall down because of the, of the condition of the trees. Department of Public Works Director Ray Bloss says he didn't want to cut down the coconut trees, but he could no longer hold out. The trees have been infested with coconut rhino beetles for years. In fact, PNC has done numerous stories on the rhino beetle infestation at Ipau, and Tumon is considered ground zero for the invasive beetle. The rhino beetle is not native to Guam. It hitchhiked aboard some construction material that ended up down at Tumon. Tumon was then established as a quarantine zone with the hopes of keeping the rhino beetle contained there. But the beetle has since been found in every village on Guam. And now the effects of the rhino beetle at the very first village it was found in can really be seen. Bloss says that over 20 coconut trees were cut at the recommendation of the Department of Agriculture. We do have a plan to replant something that's going to survive down here. And I am going to work that out with Department of Agriculture. But in the meantime, what was once an idyllic palm tree setting is now bare and lacking shade. And there are still more trees that are infected. In fact, Bloss says they need to be cut down soon as well. And as you see, there's still some left over out there. Uh, but I can't do that yet until the Department of Agriculture uh, you know, will come and help us to complete our project down here, removing old trees that is contaminated with the rhino beetle.